Hi, I'm Corey Rogers, the VP of Marketing for National Equipment Dealers. Today we're here in sunny Florida. We're on an HL930A. This is part of the new A-Series wheel loader lineup that Hyundai's put out recently. And I uh, want to show you a little bit about how to properly calibrate this machine. Uh, calibration is very important, especially if you have some type of quick coupler attached to the machine and it's not just a standard Hyundai bucket that's pinned on to the linkage. So in this case, we do have an ISO quick coupler so we need to recalibrate the machine so that it'll work properly with the loadway system with that quick coupler and bucket attached. So we're going to try to do that now. Uh, the most important thing that you have to do first and foremost is turn off the soft stop feature on the bucket and boom up and down and tilt and dump uh, circuits. And we will do that first. Uh, we also have to make sure that we get our hydraulic oil temperature up to 104 degrees or more. And in this case, we're already at 107 degrees being hot sunny Florida so we're in good shape there. So I'll take you to where you go on the soft stop feature. So from the main menu you will hit the menu button, you will go to the mode menu and the center tab which is the hydraulic tab and then to the sub menu called soft stop. And you can see that we are off on all of those so we will select that. So now we're good. Now we're going to go to the third tab which is the etc tab and here you see a sub-menu called calibration. So within the calibration, there are several different calibration procedures. The two that we're most concerned about, especially when we are trying to adjust for a quick coupler or an oversized bucket, would be the bucket and boom angle calibration and the boom pressure calibration. So the first thing we'll do is the boom and bucket angle calibration. So it's gonna tell us to lower the boom and tilt the bucket back 100%. So we're gonna lower it to the minimum height and as you can see in the front, we've got the, boom, the bucket tilted all the way back. Now I'm going to lower the, the attachment all the way to the minimum height. Now we're at minimum height. Now looking at the monitor, we will hit the next button. Now it's asking me to lift the boom with the bucket fully tilted in the rollback position. We're going to lift the boom to the maximum height. And we'll let this completely extend until it kicks out. Okay. So now that we've done that, we'll hit the next button on the monitor. You can see it's very user friendly and easy to do. And then uh, now it's asking us to lower the boom to a negative five degree from center. And this machine will calculate within a range from negative five to positive 15 degrees of center of the boom. It does the auto weight calculation at that range. And so as you can see, if you look at the monitor, I am lowering it until we get right to that negative five degree, which is a little bit tricky, but not impossible. And if you're off by just one little bit, it's not a big deal, but we try to get it right to negative five if we can. So there we are at negative five. Now we'll hit next. Now it's asking me to retract the cylinder. So essentially what it's asking me to do is dump the bucket to where the cylinder is 100% retracted for the bucket cylinder. So now we're completely retracted. Then I'll hit next. Next is going to ask me to tilt the bucket or curl the bucket all the way back so that the cylinder for the bucket is completely extended. Now I'll hit next, and now you can see the calibration for the boom and bucket angle sensors are complete. The next calibration is the boom pressure calibration. This system uses a combination of boom pressure and the angle of the bucket and the boom to measure the weight of the load. So we have to have both fully calibrated. So we've already turned the soft stop features off, so we're good there. We've already got a temperature that exceeds 104 degrees, so you can see our current hydraulic oil temperature is 111, so we're able to do the calibration. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lower our, lower our boom to the very lowest position with the bucket fully curled back. We're at the right temperature. We're going to hit the start button, and we're going to raise the boom to the maximum height, all the while keeping our joystick pulled back to the rear detent position while we're doing that and we do not want to press the accelerator we let it go at idle so we'll start now I'm pulling it back to the rear detent position and I'm going to raise the boom and the bucket as you can see now 
even though the height kicks out, if you look at the screen, it will let me know when it's ready. Now it's done, it says complete. So we can release the detent and we'll hit OK. Now what it wants me to do is it wants me to do the same procedure, but it wants me to lower it and it wants to do it under acceleration. So I'm going to lower it all the way down with the bucket fully curled back to the lowest position. And this time I'm going to hit start and I'm going to depress the accelerator with my foot and keep the joystick pulled back to the rear detent position all the way through and maintain that until it tells me to stop. So I'll hit start. You can see we're going a lot faster. Get a bit of a shock here. And if you look at the screen, you can see it's still progressing. And then it will tell me when to stop. Now calibration is complete. So I can release the accelerator, I can release the detent, and now our boom pressure calibration has been, has been done. So we're good with the boom and the bucket angle sensor calibration, and we've completed our boom pressure calibration. The only thing left for us to do is to set our bucket height for the top and the lower level position for return to dig to set those detents, and also to set our bucket level detent. So we're gonna do that now. So that in order to do that, we're gonna escape, we'll get back into the main menu, and you can see this button right here is for your, your kickouts. This is for your boom height and boom level, and also for your bucket level detent positions. So we're gonna select that. We'll turn it off to show you what it looks like when it's turned off. No lights are illuminated. So we'll go back in as if we haven't used it, and we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna set our boom and our bucket on, and we're already at the max height right now for the boom, so we're gonna save that by holding the button in and depressing that for three seconds until we hear the alarm, okay? Now, we're gonna lower the boom to, the, to about 12 inches off the ground is where we want it, and we're gonna try to level the bucket. And one good way to visually level the bucket is to the flat part right below the spill guard. You kinda want to make sure that's parallel with the ground. That's a good visual to level the bucket. We're gonna to try to put that about 12 inches off the ground, and then that will serve as a level position for the bucket to return to when we activate the return to dig. And I'll show you how that works. So now that we're about 12 inches off the ground, I'm gonna set my lower boom height kick out by holding this in for three seconds. And I'm gonna set my bucket level position by holding this in for three seconds. And then next I'll hit okay. So we've calibrated our, our boom pressure, we've calibrated our, our uh, bucket and boom detents, and we've, we've programmed our boom and bucket level detents, so now the return to dig function that the machine has will work. So as you can see now, if I want to pull my detent back to the very back and release it, under full acceleration, it should automatically kick out. We'll do that right now. So I've pulled back to the detent and released it. I'm not touching the control. The bucket will automatically dump, the boom comes up and kicks out. Now we don't have soft stop on, so it's going to be kind of jolty. We can turn the soft stop on for the boom up and it'll be a slower stop, so there won't be as much of a jolt. Now to return to dig, basically what you're going to do, and if you'll watch the joystick, I'm going to do one motion all the way depressing the joystick to the lower detent and the boom is going to go to the lowest position, 12 inches off the ground that we programmed, and the bucket is going to go back to a level position. So if we did what we were supposed to do right, this should work. Now watch the boom, and the bucket goes back to a level position, 12 inches off the ground, ready to go back and dig. And now the operator can adjust the height of the boom as he engages the pile, and that helps to save a ton of fatigue and improve efficiency and productivity during the day. So that's how you set your calibration on a new A-Series wheel loader, and that is how you set your uh, program your detents for the boom and the bucket.